Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how you should be serving interstitial ads, but you really shouldn't want to. Okay, so today I want to answer a question that came in on a video last week from Pal Lab Jr. Uh, Pal Lab Jr. says, I have been learning Android development since June of 2019 and I have launched my first app in the first week of September 2019. Well done. Now it has 80,000 plus downloads, which is increasing by over 2,000 a day. Awesome. But the revenue it generates is very low, around $3.50 about, uh, $3 a day from AdMob. So I hear this all the time, right? I'm getting all the downloads but my ad mob revenue is still too low. What do I do? What, what is the reason? And the one question I ask, and the question I always ask is, are you only using banners? And Palab responded, yes, but two days ago I implemented my one interstitial ad. And you most, so most of the time when somebody says their, their ad mob revenue is really low, what do they do about it? The two th questions I'll ask is, are you using interstitial ads or video ads or anything other than banners? And where are your ads being served? So those are the two, the two variables which make a big difference on your RPM and your eCPM. I mean, there's other variables too, but those are the, the two that, that just seem to be the biggest factors in it. So first of all, with, with going with banners, as a app developer, as a creator, as someone who puts something out there that's your sweat, blood, and, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, all that kind of stuff, you don't want to be showing people. I mean, banners are, are ideal because it's, you know, they don't get in the way of the users, they don't interrupt gameplay, they don't interrupt the, the usability of the application, and it's easy for the users to, to just overlook them, just to ignore them. Which is why advertisers will pay more for interstitial ads and even more for video ads and more for other types of ads because it's harder to look past them. Or even more for native ads too because it's hard to ignore them and to just look past them. Do you know which users love to see interstitial ads? I don't think any of them do. I don't think anyone likes to see interstitial ads except for advertisers. Dude, if advertisers had their way, they would pay more for people just to open up your app and then they go straight to their webpage or straight to their store or whatever or to completely brand the, the application for them if they could, right? But, you know, you, you're, you're balancing both sides of it, right? It's and believe me, when I put interstitial ads in my app the first time, it was actually at the recommendation of an ad mob specialist. An ad, the person at ad mob would give me a consultation and he, he, gave, he said, I noticed I didn't see any interstitial ads. And I said, well, it was only on the third open that it would actually show this first interstitial ad. And he was like, I think you should show more. And then I did. And at first, it, I really hated it. And every so often somebody would say there's too many ads. And it's like, dude, I don't want to be showing anybody ads. In fact, as time goes on, when I talk to somebody who says, I don't want to put ads in my application. I'm just going to have in-app purchases. I'm not going to do ads. I hate ads. Ads suck. And I'm starting to lean that way too. It's getting harder to make money with ads. You got all the GDPR stuff. It seems like all of society is starting to, to look down on them. And, it, and when you think about it, it's kind of ridiculous that we're, we're all putting out content so that we can serve ads and in order to get people to see our content we have to take out ads and we have this house of cars with ads and ads and ads and at the end of all those ads somebody has to actually buy something. So this is why you know when, when we make money from in-app purchases I, I prefer that more because I mean ads are just kind of you know, I mean nobody likes to put ads. If you make something that you really care about you don't want to slap an ad on it uh, which I totally get but you, you talk about a lot of Android users, especially, they might be they might be younger, or they don't have the the budget to be, you know, be making all these payments. I mean, I find that iOS users pay more in apps than Android users do. I mean, I used to give my old Android phones to my kids, and of course, they didn't have credit cards at the time, so it was like, but they could still I could still serve them ads, they could still view all that kind of stuff. But it's getting harder and harder. So yeah. You should be serving interstitial ads, right? and you probably don't want to, right? And then also think about the country. If you have like a, if you have a lot of ads being served in, in India or some other countries, it's going to be a very low RPM because you got to, you got to think like an advertiser. If you want to make money with ads, you have to think like an advertiser. Just to understand how the whole process works. So, uh, for those of you guys who out there doesn't have any interstitial ads, and you're like 
just totally opposed to it because I, I get that, right? I'm, I'm always on the fence about it and I would, I would totally remove interstitial ads if they didn't make so much money in my applications. In fact, I still I have banners and interstitials, but most of the revenue comes from interstitials for me. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, let Powell Lab Jr. know what you think. Uh, and that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.